So if you watched our last video, you will know that we ended up going to a print shop. And in that print shop, the owner recommended a restaurant which serves traditional Albanian food. Now, we don't know much about Albanian food, but there is a, a, a dish we would like to try. Ah, cat on the car. And uh, I can't pronounce it, so I'm just gonna put it down below. That's what the dish is called. And uh, this is the national dish of Albania, from what I know. And uh, we don't know anything about Albanian food, really. We don't know about what it tastes like, what the ingredients are used. Um, but we know it's different from the surrounding areas. It has its own identity in many ways. So it's important to... Uh... Oh, sorry, my friend, no money. No money, my friend. We've been recommended the place and now we're en route to it. And as we're making our way over, we continue to see examples of grand architecture and the country is completely being built up into what is quite a modern metropolis. And uh, really, to be honest, I don't know many people that have visited Albania. I've got a few friends and I said to them, I've got a few friends, I've got no friends. I've got a few friends and I said to them, uh, oh, we're going to Albania soon. And they're like, Albania? Why? And I was like, well, why not? Have you not been? And they were like, no. I was like, but it's quite easy to get to. Why wouldn't you go and check it out? And I think it's because people don't have that on their traditional holiday list. People have Greece, Italy, Spain, Portugal, but they don't have Albania on that list. And I'm kind of hoping that videos like this from myself and people in the YouTube community will showcase why you should visit. There's vast mountains, there's beautiful scenery, modern buildings, interesting architecture, and people who are really friendly and can't do enough to help. But here we go. We're actually in the bazaar, which is uh, essentially a market. And uh, I actually do need a backpack. So uh, I'm gonna let Tammy have a little look, but while she's doing that, I'm gonna go and explore the bazaar itself because I do believe the restaurant we need is in this area. So as you can see, it's got the Ottoman style design and that is pretty interesting to be fair because just a moment ago we was in quite a modern section of the area and I've just turned a corner and now we're in an old rustic market. How many places in the world will you experience that? And you've got a variety of different things, t-shirts, bags, watches and the cool thing is, it's unlike many other bazaars that I've been to. So people aren't standing here. You can see they're not heckling me and getting me to come to their store and things like that. And nice, many different shirts as well. And I think it's uh, one of my favorite things to do is to go and stumble down into a bazaar, into a back alley, and uh, to go and explore and see what a traditional market is like and it's very much a local place. People come here to do their shopping and uh, we're quite lucky actually. Uh, today's quite busy but from what we understand, from what we spoke to uh, the person where we were uh, going to get our printing done, he said that today is actually a holiday. So we're quite lucky to have caught him and to have got something printed in the first place. Uh, but equally, we're quite lucky that so many things are still open. So despite the fact that it's a holiday, Things are still going and still hustling and bustling. And Tammy's back, back there, so I haven't left her behind. And uh, yeah, this is what a traditional marketplace in Tirana looks like. So again, give it a go, people. You know what I mean? You might be surprised. I ain't had a chance to stop and look at the prices because we're here for the food mainly. But uh, one thing I really do like is the Albanian flag such a beautiful flag and I think the word Albania is ship so uh, I actually spoke to the guy running the print shop and uh, I got some of what I had learned in Albanian confirmed as relatively correctly pronounced wow look at the buildings look how much they've changed already just in a sprawling modern area here come down and the building architecture and style has completely changed crazy but um Primarily the goal here is to go and get some food, but to be honest, I am quite easily distracted by such beauty and such uh, vibrance. And uh, I just had to come break off and come and see what this was like for myself. 
the only thing I will say is I'm not seeing prices on things so it might be a haggling game here um, yeah I'm not seeing much in terms of prices I'm just trying to see if I can find an example when things are price listed which uh, I always get a bit nervous when that's the case because there's been a few times where I've been to a shop etc etc prices aren't marked so therefore you've got a what I call a fluctuating price now I don't believe that's going to be the case here in Albania because actually the locals are very very friendly to us tourists which uh, that can depend where you go so some places people can be wow you scared the hell into me Tam she came she literally walked into the uh, into the scene there so some sorry that bag has a neck which is 10 euros which is about eight pounds wow that's actually quite good eight quid for a bag yeah yeah i uh, i might go back and get that because i do need a new bag because my the bag that i've got currently is fall into bits it's about the same size as the bag that i've got so yeah tammy got a bag in oman for like four quid. it was about four quid i can't remember what that is in real i think that's like two omani real off yeah. the top of my head yes it is yeah. two omani real got us a quid a bag for four quid but we was in funnily enough the bazaar of oman in uh, in muscat and uh, we found a bag there for 35 omani real which is roughly 70 pound so uh i guess it depends where you go but tell me people of albania is 1000 lek good for a bag that you just saw back there we mean just uh, up in the, up in the Carta, yeah. Carta, yo, okay, okay. Um, yeah, we'll yeah, we're, 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 we're use the change, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we'll get one. Oh, speak English? <laughs> oh, very good. 500. How much for, one is 200 left? Yeah, yes. one, Perfect, yeah. thank you, brother. My wife takes forever to decide, so. <laughs> it's a very nice shop you have here, my friend. Very good, very good. So she's on a mission. So it's this one. Or they're, they're all very nice. They are actually, in there. Yeah, I quite like that one. Okay, cool. Yeah. There you go, she's yeah. decided. We'll get that one. Thank you. Vale right. Mindelitz. Bye. Mil Pashim, my friend. Mil Pashim. So Magnet is now acquired, and uh, if you're a follow of our channel you'll know that the wife loves a good magnet and our fridge is pretty much now a mosaic at this point Absolutely. we've been to a fair few countries and I've got the biggest of fridges so uh, we might have to buy a bigger fridge or less magnets and I don't think less magnets is an option is it Tam? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> so as you've seen there uh, demonstrated a little bit of Albanian um, it's a difficult language but people are very very grateful when you speak it and the English here is uh, fantastic actually so uh, yeah, I still do think it's important to try and learn some of the language though, because uh, as a mark of respect for the very least. But yeah, let's go and find this place. Okay, so for a quick update, we've done a bit of research onto this restaurant that we were recommended. And to be honest, it seems like it's one of the more expensive ones. Now in Montenegro, we had a little bit of an issue where we was recommended a restaurant and it turned out to be a bit of a tourist trap. Now, I don't think that was the intention of this guy. He was genuinely very nice. He gave us a free printout for you know, our boarding passes. So I think he was a very honest man. But um, <clears throat> I think uh, reading from the reviews and seeing the prices, it was quite expensive there. So what we've done instead is we've decided to go somewhere a little bit different. So we're gonna to go to this place here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to make it out. Let me try and focus in a bit there. Well, it's called Birara Katori. I will, Birari Katori. I'll put that at the bottom of the screen. And uh, <clears throat> the prices look pretty good. Um, so instead of getting the uh, the Tava Koza, which I think it's called or pronounced, um, which is the sour, it's like lamb with sour cream. Um, Tommy's not a big fan of sour cream and the only way they actually sell it is if you buy it for two people so you can't just buy a single portion you have to buy it for two or even for six people you can't just buy a single portion of it and that can come up to 1000 lek 1400 lek and obviously we're looking to save a few pennies because of the amount of times you've either been ripped off 
or had to take out money. So for that reason, we've decided to go and do a bit of research instead of go to this place. And we found this is one of the more cheaper places. So instead of ordering the Tavakosa, we're now gonna get the Kofta. And Kofta is like meatballs. We're gonna get the Pula, I'm gonna say say it, which is like chicken, chicken fillet. We're also gonna get some chips and various other things as well. And that should come to quite a good price, hopefully. So. Now we've done that, let's go and see it, but actually to quickly add as well, where's them bottles of water gone? We've got some bottles of water, these, bottle of water, <laughs> bottle of water, if, uh, if you're American, um, and uh, that, for one of them, costs about 250 lek, which is a lot of money. Uh, I'll put down the conversions below. So we got duped, unfortunately. It keeps happening to us. We uh, usually are quite smart about things like this, but we've just been off guard recently, haven't we? Yeah. Um, so I think that's down to us. We've got to stop making these mistakes. But again, in the exact same way as Montenegro, cash is king here. So do come prepared with lek. Uh, Euros is accepted as oh, well. Yeah, it's widely accepted. Widely yeah. accepted, but do bring some cash with you. Not everywhere accepts card. I think uh, of all the places, we've found one place that accepts card. Um, so just keep that in mind as well. Okay, so as we're en route to the uh, restaurant, I just wanted to point out just how modern and how beautiful this capital city actually is. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I didn't know what to expect from Albania, but a bustling city with complete history, charm and beauty is exactly what we've got. I found it. Hi. Medita, please need English. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Thank you very much. Is there any tables today? Uh, not for now. We are closing now for the Eid Mubarak. Of course, of course, Mubarak. Oh, cool. Yes. Is and the, the, we open again uh, after 7 o'clock. 7 p.m. We will come back, brother. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, my friend. No, no problem, brother. We completely understand. We will definitely be back. Thank you, my friend. Have a good day. Take care, mate. Okay, so it's closed. Okay, so that's fine. So. Um, it's currently Eid Mubarak in Albania and if you don't know, Albania has a large majority uh, Muslim population actually, um, but do not <laughs> by any means go around to everyone saying, um, what is it, uh, assalamu alaikum, because I've seen people try to do that before in other videos and that's actually quite rude to do that. Uh, if you want to greet someone, it's either Persian Jetta, which is hello, um, Medita, if it's the afternoon like it is now, Mimrama, if it's the evening, or Mimenjes, um, if it's the morning. So, we're going to continue on our search and hopefully find something. Uh, we perhaps might just go for some nice fast food. Restaurants may be a bit more difficult to find, but we will do some research, see if we can find anything that might be open. But of course, taking into consideration that evening barrack is currently happening, we're going to try and find a, another restaurant because uh, we're quite hungry and we do need to eat something because uh, well, we've not eaten anything all day and it's like 2pm and we've been up since like 7 in the morning. So we've got to get something down us and we've been walking for hours as well. So if we want to continue on this journey, we've got to get some food down us. So we found another place around the corner from where we were, thankfully. Similar prices, similar things we're looking for. They've got the kofta, they've got the chicken fillets, they've got the chips, they've got all the things we're looking for. Hopefully some traditional beer as well, if uh, beer is, you know, something that they serve there. And uh, yeah, hopefully this restaurant's open and hopefully they will let us in for a meal. All right, people, so the food is all right. Um, we've already had a few bits of it because uh, the camera wasn't recording for some reason, but these things happen. Well, they'll give you our experience. So here we've got a beetroot salad, which is really nice. Uh, it's got like a marinade, like a pickled marinade and a bit of olive oil. That's really good though, it's uh, quite sweet. I don't usually like beetroot, but that's, that's legit. That's good. We've got chicken fillet here. Do you mind if I'm a, this is Tammy's, but I'll, if you don't mind, nick a little bit. Oh, that's a little, a little dry, but... Chips, which has got a little seasoning like oregano. Finish that mouthful first. Mm -hmm. We've got puff 
Master. Mmm. That's really good. Very, very meaty. We've got some bread and a traditional stew. So let's give that a go. I think it's yogurt based. Wow. That's amazing. Let's try some meat. I believe it's beef. Mmm. Hot. Really good. The bread, is, the bread is really nice. And then we've also got a traditional beer called Quotsa. That is good. I'm going to be looking for that back at home, I think. Yeah, really, really nice. Really, really good. So like Albanian food is not something that I'm familiar with back, you know, back in England, we don't really know much about it. But that is the standout for me. That is amazing. Traditional casserole with beef. I'm trying to think what it's called. So this in total came up to, I don't know if you can see, 1,470 electric which I'll transpose below into the different currencies. Are you curious? And I'll also put the name of this restaurant down below as well, if you wish to visit. Yeah, we're going to get stuck in, try it and give our thoughts after the meal. Alright, so that's the food completed. Let's give our thoughts. So I'll start and I'll let Tammy go next. So for me, I think the food was actually really good. Um, I really liked the beef casserole thing. Um, it's hard to describe what it was like. It's just very, very savoury and very meaty. Um, and packed full of flavour. I couldn't really pick out one particular flavour, it was just a very, very savoury tasting dish. But then the yoghurt, or whatever was in there, I think it was yoghurt, made it very really creamy and very light as well, so it was an interesting dish. <clears throat> in terms of the bread, fluffy, tasty, paired well with the, uh, with the, with the sauce from the stew. The uh, beetroot salad, that was an interesting one because I didn't actually order beetroot, I ordered coleslaw. So coleslaw must mean something different here or he might have not caught what I said, but I asked for coleslaw. So you have to correct me in the comments, but I coleslaw, what I know of is like cabbage, onions, carrot. yeah, carrots, and uh, what well, here we got beetroot, a beetroot salad. So it could have been a misunderstanding, but regardless, the beetroot salad was very nice. I don't particularly like beetroot, but that was really good actually, nice and sweet. Chips are chips, not really much to say on them. The, uh, the kofta, really, so it wasn't all that great to be honest, I'm going to be honest. It was, so we get, at home we get very, very cheap burgers, hamburgers, that you can buy from like convenience stores. Um, and they tasted like the cheapest version of them basically, they weren't great, I must be honest. Uh, I don't want to lie to you people, um, Albania, I'm sorry. But that particularly, that particular kofta wasn't very nice. But maybe there are koftas out there that are incredible, and I just happened to find a good or bad version. Uh, the chicken wasn't good at all. I weren't a fan of the chicken. It was incredibly dry. Uh, it literally could have like thrown it at a wall. I was trying to cut it for ages. The wall would have broken. The wall that's would have probably the wall would yeah was. yeah the wall would have broken it, wouldn't it? Um, the, the beer was very nice. It washed it all down very well. Very very uh, light flavour. <clears throat> Paired well. I made a mistake of eating that little chili in the uh, in the casserole, and that blew my mind because I'm not very good at spicy food. So, but as I got towards the bottom of the casserole, it kind of absorbed that chili kind of, which is interesting. It gave it a bit of heat, but yeah, I'm a bit of a wimp, I guess. So, but yeah, that's what I thought. What about you, love? To be honest, exactly the same. I was going to mention about the coleslaw um, and beef. Obviously, you think me to it. I don't really know what to say. Um, same with the chicken. You asked, you know, you mentioned about the chicken. I agree, it was dry as anything, quite literally bone dry. Um, I think I paid what 180 lek for like two bits of chicken, and they're not exactly big bits either, and a bit of lettuce and a wedge of um, lemon, but that was it, nothing else, and I was like. Wow. Yeah, I must admit, actually, when it came out, it was like, oh, okay, chicken fillet. I mean, really, it, it was quite cheap. 
I guess. I mean, the whole thing came to an equivalent of like £12 roughly in that sort of area. And you got to think for £12, we've got a traditional casserole, we've got two bits of bread, chips, chicken, the kwafta or the uh, meatball thingies or the burger thingies, uh, a bottle of water, a Coke, and a beer. That's a pretty good deal to be fair and it's one of the cheaper places we found as well so do give it a check but probably won't recommend ordering the uh the chicken the chips also came out quite cold they the were nice the seasoning was nice but yeah they were cold they were cold yeah but i would uh i'd definitely give it a go just be cautious what you order but the service is incredibly fast uh he spoke english very very well i did try to speak albanian as well in there um but his english was perfect so i just threw a couple of phrases in there but i mean that it's um you'll have shim things like that just to show my appreciation but yeah worth worth looking into but some of the items weren't the best but that's our thoughts so anyway traditional albanian food we've given it a go we've enjoyed it it's been very interesting and very very good value for money so if you're here give it a go and let us know what you think